All right, we got two new Kaiser knives to unbox. This was here from the last unboxing. If you haven't checked it out yet, I will list it up here. These are the two variants of the Hiccup with the removable thumb studs right here. I'm gonna put these away. Definitely check out that video. These are awesome knives. I've really enjoyed them. I compare both of them. They are a little different as you can tell. One has a front flipper, one doesn't. The hole's a little different. So check that video out later if you're interested and we're gonna dive into these two. So what's inside of these? One of them is the bag lighter in denim and the other one is the sheepdog not in this beautiful titanium but in denim as well if you're interested in a video on this guy i have two of them i'm gonna be doing a giveaway once we get close to the thousand subscriber mark i'll link that video right up here where i unbox a ton of kaisers this guy's just so smooth he just most of the time just falls shut he is Look at that. Beautiful. So the size is going to be the same as these two, except in Kaiser's new denim. It's kind of like a bright denim. Not like the denim that I've seen by, for example, QSP, the little bit of a jean denim. This one, I guess you could still call it jean, but it just looks a lot brighter blue. So I purchased these knives myself through Mojave Outdoor. They are, let's see, we have the Sheepdog. Whoops. The Sheepdog, this is more or less the regular size. And the bag lighter, oh, mini roach, wrong one. This will be another video, hold on. We're not doing mini roach today. Here we go, bag lighter two in denim micarta. So if you wanna pick up these knives or any Kaiser knives from Mojave Outdoor, you're gonna see a code right here, Blade District. That's all it is, gets you 10% off your entire purchase. For reference, let me grab the prices real quick on these. So the, which one is it? The Sheepdog, which is the bottom one on this one, goes for $79. And then the Beg Lighter 2 in denim is a little bit cheaper at $69. So $79 for the Sheepdog, $69 for the Beg Lighter. Let's see, these should come with those denim pouches as well. Oh, there it is, that denim pouch. Everyone, it might've been a limited time deal, so don't hold me to that. I don't know if you're still gonna get this, but at a certain point, so we do have a little bit of extra hardware, at a certain point when you purchase knives that were in that denim variation, you would actually get, let me just put this up here real quick, you would actually get this denim pouch, which is pretty neat. It's got the Kaiser logo product denim. I think you could fit a good amount in here. I've heard some people say it's a little hard to fit all of them, <laughs> kind of like that sheepdog. I know, it fits down there. So it looks like we have three large pockets on one and then three large pockets on top and then two smaller ones, which if you have a knife that thin, if not some sort of pen or other utensil, device, tool, whatever you want to put in here. And then you could wrap it up, but I don't see how that many would fit. But again, we're not here to see the pouch. Maybe in another video, we'll see how many we could really fit in here, but just a quick little glance at it. And this is what I meant, the Jean is a lot brighter than, for reference, like a QSP Penguin Jean Micarta, or denim, I should say. All right, here he is, and this should also, yep, same thing. What do we got here? Extra hardware. That little guy. And same thing here. All right. Move this. All right, let's check them out. We're gonna do the Sheepdog first. Cause this is a liner lock. I think I'm gonna like this a lot more than the titanium one. For some reason with my hands, I'm not the biggest fan of that frame lock. You need to be very careful on how you hold it. For this one, I feel like no matter how you, ooh, this feels nice. Still very smooth. You, if you've seen my other videos with Kaiser, I always complain about this. They're, my Carta is just super hard, smooth, no texture at all. But like I was just saying two seconds ago, this, I think I'm really gonna like. It feels thin for being such a wide knife. It feels pretty darn thin. I'm gonna say damn and darn same time. Look at that pocket clip. I have never seen a clip so low profile. That is beautiful the way to do that clip. Hopefully it has enough to get into the pocket because it's almost completely flat. Little new stuff we got going on here, as you can tell, we have, what does it say? Love it freely, take it easy, product denim. 
154 cm as you can see there and like I was saying it's more of a bright blue denim compared to actually want to go get it compared to the denim for the penguin which if I have to be honest I like this micarta better in the sense that it just feels better like I've been saying Kaiser knives for some reason their micarta is just very it's almost to me like a g10 that's been completely sanded smooth that's the vibes I'm getting from this it feels kind of flat I don't even know if it's contoured I thought it was contoured but it feels very flat in the hand I kind of want to say it's not contoured that's surprising because I have the mini here what's the best way to look yeah this guy is contoured yet this guy is not that is weird i kind of felt that right away too it has that blocky feel to it but that might also be why i said it feels thin because well it doesn't widen at any part of it all right enough talking let's give it a flick open it up see how it feels oh oh man that is snappy and smooth check out that blade beautiful black wash black stone wash whatever you want to call it i love the way they do their thumb hole unlike spider co they put a nice little chamfer in there which is it just doesn't make it as sharp and you don't need that super sharpness now the beauty of the one without the thumb stud is not only can you grab it like this but you can choke up all the way to here now you got to be careful because there really isn't a guard there which i I want to say for some reason that titanium one has it. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see. Does this guy have one or am I remembering wrong? No, I am right. Okay. Yeah, it has more of a usable forward choil. So these are little differences that I honestly didn't know. So hopefully you guys are appreciating this because I'm actually learning as I'm unboxing. I remember when I was unboxing this, I was like, oh, that feels great up here. This guy, I wish they would have kind of had that same mini forward choil so to say can you still grip it up here of course but you're not as safe or secure as you are with the titanium one so let's uh put that ti dog away Ooh, rock solid jimping up here which is actually done very nicely not too aggressive it's just it's just perfect and i do like how it goes up a decent amount these sheepdogs are just a great all-around knife, I think. Always been a fan of them. Even the mini that I just brought out two seconds ago, I think. Just great knives. Let's take a look at the bag lighter, which I already have both the mini and the full size, but not in this beautiful blue denim micarta. All right. Look at that. So we have that same look to it as far as the micarta, the blue deep carry clip, not as smooth and inconspicuous as this look at that that is a perfect example do you see the difference this is why i was like that is insane how low profile this clip is still a deep carry pocket clip is this one also completely flat i wonder if that's something new that they're doing because they're trying to maybe cut costs or maybe they just want to save they're making them completely flat the other ones have more of like a, a rounded texture to them. Of course, the edges are knocked down and everything. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just the, the main body structure. Again, we have that same little quotes on here. 154 cm again. Centering looks good. Now these, the bag lighters, every bag lighter that I have handled has insane action. The detent is strong, and I mean it is on the stronger side. Some people might not actually like it. It is on the stronger side, but it also makes it almost impossible to, to fail. Like, it literally makes it impossible to fail. I wasn't actually opening it there, by the way. And the, the closing, the bearings are just insane. All right, let's open this up, see how it feels, and see how it closes. Uh-oh, come on. All right, so this one is not like the other bag lighters. Oh, there it goes. You know what? I think it just needed a little. Okay, so as you can see, it 
Because it, it, once it gets past a certain point, it drops. Can we slow roll? Yeah. Either it needs to break in or something is just kind of keeping it tight at a certain point. Take a look at that blade shape. Again, that 154 CM. Look at that dynamite card. That blue, it just pops. I don't know if the lighting is going to do it justice in here. But it does look beautiful. I wish it was a little more contoured. The handle, instead of being completely flat. Still very smooth. You might hear my computer going off. I kind of left it on. I think I got a Discord going on over there. So you might hear all these funky sounds. Let's get the other bag lighter to compare. All right, just shut the computer too, so you might not hear anything. So yeah, I was right. This guy, contoured. You could see the contour. It's not completely flat. It has a nice little contour towards the edges. It's just rounded. Ooh, yeah. It snaps open and just, watch, drops. Shut. This one might need a little bit of breaking in. But I gotta say, I really thought that the denim micarta, both the sheepdog and this, it is surprising to me. I am thoroughly surprised that they're flat, that there's no contouring. To some, it might not mean much. To others, it might. But I really wished and thought these would have been contoured, whatever you want to call it. Like this older belt bag lighter too. Opens with more authority and just literally guillotine shot. And you don't have to worry too much about it hitting your finger because if you keep your thumb high enough, that will hit. You see? Of course you do it down here, well, then it has the chance to keep going. But if you do it up here, like a normal person, I would assume, just it just opens and closes. Where, let's see, does this one have the same thing? And I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, this has the same thing besides the fact that it doesn't want to drop as smoothly. So, here's a quick little side-by-side -side in case anyone wants to compare these. Although, to me, these are not even comparable knives. Ah, funny thing is they're about the same length. They look to be very similar in length. And the bag lighter very similar in cutting edge. It looks like the bag lighter has more. Yeah, a little bit more. Handle length, go cool. pivot to pivot right about there. Almost identical. So very similar cutting edge. Just depends if you want to have this chunky beast of a knife, which I love this pocket clip. I don't feel it at all in the hand whatsoever. It is so low profile. And you know, it's not contoured, but it does make for a thin knife. So although it's kind of a negative to some folks, I thought it would feel more comfortable if it was contoured. At the same time, the plus side is, it's gonna take up less real estate in the pocket. Well, not real estate like this, but it's gonna be thinner. It won't, it's not gonna bulge out as much. And same goes for this guy. I still like the old bag lighter a little bit better as far as action goes. This guy might break in, but as you see when I disengage the lock, Nothing. Shake, shake, shake. Starts coming down. There we go. Lock up. Perfect. Jimping, jimping, jimping. Not much at all. Is it the same for this guy? Yep. Very little jimping. Yeah, this guy, you could try ever so slowly, and it's almost like you flipped a switch. That's how this guy acts. I'm just going to push ever so slowly, and it's almost like a, a switch got flipped, and it, it just fires out. Yeah, I was trying to go slow. I spoke right when it opened. Ready? You saw that? I could not have went any slower. It's crazy. This guy, on the other hand, a little bit, not as strong maybe. Let's see. Let's try. Go slow. Yeah, see the difference? If I go really slow, you could do that. Where this guy, I don't think that's possible at all. Did you see how slow that was? And it still rolled all the way out. Impossible to fail. Hopefully this guy breaks in a little bit. Might have to take him apart. You know, the denim line from Kaiser is still fairly new when it comes to 
this style. So I don't know if uh, they're using different techniques or anything. Are we milled out in there? Yes, we are, at least on that side. Doesn't look like we're milled out on that side. This guy. Well, look at those little baby holes back there. You see that? So we are milled on the other side where it looks like a sheepdog wasn't. And then, yep, big ones on that side. Let's do a quick weight on these. All right, quick weight. So, sheepdog denim. This is the normal size, as they call it. 4.48 ounces. And what do they put this at? They say it's a 3.25 inch blade. So a 3.25 inch blade length and it weighs 4.48 ounces. And then we have the Beglader 2, which they say has a, let's see, let's see, let's see, 3.58. Like I said, it did look longer than that one. Blade length and the weight comes in at, wow, 3.2, we're going to look under, 3.21. So yeah, you know, you can tell though, this guy's a lot wider. So what I say, 3.21 and 4. I don't know, 48 or something. Not too bad. You're you're gonna tell this guy's bigger, but it's nice. I like that it's a liner lock. The frame lock one, titanium, is a beauty. But a little bit harder to open slow. You have to just grab it the right way. For reference, what is he? 5.54. He's a big bad boy. So. Let's see if it weighs any different than this guy. 3.21. 3.21. On the dot, so no difference at all between your carbon fiber or maybe some of your other beg lighters in general. And then, come on, left hand. It's so smooth that it literally just wants to keep opening. All right, so one thing I forgot to do was a little cut test. I've been trying to incorporate this in my video, so we'll do a quick cut test on this. 154 cm, both of them, let's see. That is nice, smooth, look at that, ready? Just slices right through it. Whoop. I think we're just getting caught up in a crevice that was already there, because I've been using this paper a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. See that? Beautiful. And it's starting to break in a little bit, but still, if I go to push it, it'll drop a little bit. But if I, you know, yeah, it'll drop a bit. I think it just needs to break in a little bit. Now, this guy, on the other hand, he's a big one. He's a big guy. Let's see. Oh, wow. For a big blade like this. He can slice pretty well too. Saw that. Not too bad. Both of these are pretty good cutters out the box. Kaiser is doing it pretty well. They're keeping these guys sharp. Yeah, I went back to this real quick. I want to say the sheepdog came out sharper out the box. This one in certain areas kind of grabbing. I'm not able to get that thin. See, now it's started. Don't get me wrong, it's still super sharp. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, knife guys. We're the only ones who enjoy cutting paper and destroying paper like this. And then if anyone is just curious what a mini looks like, I have an unboxing of this, which I'll link up here when I unboxed the other one. But if I already linked it, then I can't link it again. So you might have to go back, whatever. I'll have it in the description. This is your normal bag lighter two. Same size as the black one, just denim, a little bit different. And this is your bag lighter mini. And the mini feels just like this bag lighter. Action, ridiculously snappy almost impossible to fail and watch this. Do you see that? Crazy. Go super slow, ready? Like, same as that, impossible to fail. And when you close it, it just drops. You see that? For such a light blade, that's insane. So 
Let me know what you guys think of these knives. Let's move this over. Let me know what you think of the denim micarta from Kaiser, the Sheepdog, the Beg Lighter 2. Which one would you take? Do you like the denim micarta? Do you like this look, the color, the non-contoured handles, the pocket clip, everything I went over? Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're interested in more content, including that upcoming giveaway for the Kaiser TI Sheepdog and plenty of other knives into the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.